Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tom Homberger from GBC Media, and we're here today at the Saint Andy Style Shopping Mall to meet the two beautiful ladies behind this great pop-up store and co-founders of Be Gifted. Let's go. Good day again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tom Homberger from GBC Media, and we're here today with the beautiful Teresa Wu and Amber Chan, both co-founders and set up of this beautiful pop-up store at the Saint Andy Style Shopping Mall. Teresa, Amber, thank Hello. you so much. Good nice morning. To you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Fine, fabulous actually. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So we're here in this beautiful thing and we see that everything is done in the name of Be Gifted. Yes. Tell us about it. Um, yeah, it might be start with the concept of Be Gifted. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, Be Gifted, as we know, it means someone who received the gifts and also someone who are talented, we call it gifted. So uh, we want to be the bridge in between someone who receives gifts, someone who needs to prepare the gifts, and mm. also people who are talented, those designers and artists. Mm -hmm. so that's what we do. We are delightfully preparing those gifts to <laughs> our consumers. Preparing gifts, so yeah. it's all about gift giving. Yes, gift giving. Uh, selectively from designers, special designers. Uh, they included Chinese and mm -hmm. uh, over, uh, overseas designers. And then we select a different collection for our customers. We basically, uh, on last year, we are trying to build a plat platform online. And this year, we uh, think for the customer, it is important for them to know what we're doing. That's why we are come to mm -hmm. here uh, in Xing uh, <laughs> We open this pop-up store. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a great idea. So, gift giving. How did you come up with this in the first place? What what got you into? let's say, as Amber just said, bridging people who want to give a gift and people who want to receive a gift or need to receive a gift. How did you come up with the idea in the first place? I mean, um, we are like uh, young, beautiful girls. <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> and we used to be shopaholic, but um, mm -hmm. we have a lot of things at home, but you, sometimes you feel it's too much. It's a lot of things, but which, which thing is you really need? And what kind of things can you tell the story behind? Is it really that matters to you? And for me, that is why uh, we are trying to start our business with gift ideas and also with the meaning of the gift. With the yeah. meaning of the gift behind. Yes. So you decided to come up and make it into a proper business, yes. into making it into a proper company. Well, um, for me, because we have, I had a lot of experiences about gifting, and uh, whenever we need, I need to prepare something for, for a best friend, for family, for someone who you love, and it's always a struggling time. Yes, and uh, it's very difficult because. There's a lot of things you need to, you, you want to make it beautiful, you, you want mm. to make it meaningful. Meaningful, absolutely. Right, so it spent you a lot of time and uh, you need to analyze the situation. You need to, um, maybe sometimes it's a, a lot of investment. Um, it is indeed. Yeah. True, so it's difficult, right? So this, this was one day, uh, we, were, we were brainstorming and uh, we think, okay, we are experienced in PR, we, are, we love design, we love art, we love fashion. Why don't we make it... Your shopaholics. Real, yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Sure. Why don't we make it... We have it the good a, sense, right. so we think, why don't we make a business of it? Right, and, and there's trying no to help one, people, yeah, there's no one actually doing it. So okay. it's hmm. something new. Trying so everything was people, matching yeah. right. yes. at that time. Yeah. So how did you meet each other? How, how did you girls come together in the first place? Uh -huh. We're colleagues before. Oh, and okay. from colleague, we're being best friends for a couple of years. And before that, we really think about it a bit. Uh, we're two friends, or three friends actually. Yeah. Uh, really good at um, you know, running a business together. Mm. Or that, would that be an issue? We talk about it all the time. <laughs> yeah. But Boom! We started. <laughs> anyway, Boom. it started. How long yeah. has it been? Or it's how been long a year and a half. A year and a half. Yes, so it's still a pretty young concept, a pretty young company, right? Yes. How's it been going so far? Um, I think the business is uh, growing. I just mm -hmm. say, happy yeah. about that. Yeah, and okay. we we are seeking a 
booming sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Make that big step that will yes. take you and your concept, yes. your company to the next level. Right. Of course. But I think before that, we need more and more, you know, to really know our business and to learn from others, like what we did in GBC with other ladies. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to that in yeah. a minute. <laughs> First, I just would like to, to hear from you since uh, I hear, I understand that Big Gifted is all about design. Everything comes out from designers, uh, independent designers or gifted designers. And, and the stories. And stories, of course, trying to make the design come out of a story and ultimately to the customer or the person that should receive the Who gift, the right? Same feelings. Yeah. They share the same feeling. Yeah. So, since we know that China right now is a very design attractive mm -hmm. uh, market, there yeah, are many things uh, about about design happenings, about design, a lot of mm -hmm. uh, design com conferences, conventions, and design week. I think it's happening soon yeah, in, in Shanghai. Shanghai. Yes. So, it's from actually happening. Happened uh, last week. It was last week. I remember yeah. it was sometime yeah. soon. So yeah. Last week. <laughs> so, from your perspective, since you're involved in uh, in this kind of uh, of market, what trends do you see, and how do you see the Chinese market developing together with design? Um, I think for designers, is, which is quite good, and which means Chinese people with their with our you know. Um, conditions more and more better and people realize design stuff is what we want in our life and people also realize they want stuff with meanings hmm. I think he, from here our business is a booming point yeah in you know very short future <laughs> <laughs> I think but uh, in another way I think with a lot of designers coming up uh, mm -hmm. there will be the final ones will be choosing by the markets, by the real customers. That's why we bring all the designers into our pop-up store. We want to see the result, we want to see the reaction people actually have, have for all these gifts and mm -hmm. what's their real opinion on all this stuff. If you're doing online, all you can see is figure, right? Yeah. But here we can talk, we can communicate with our customers and we can know what they really want and who they are going to send it to. Hmm. And, That's you know, a very interesting to, point. Yes. No, very interesting point since we know that nowadays most of commerce happens, as Reza just said, online. People just buy on the internet so that yes. you conveniently have it delivered at home you don't need to step outside you don't need to do much you just buy what you need and you get it at home so it's interesting to see someone going the other way around trying to bring people into the store and have that personal feeling into buying something or or doing something with with the customer how has been the feedback so far in having people coming into your beautiful pop-up store and what's what's the feeling what's the feedback from people um because the way we select our designers and the products, products we, here we call it gift items, uh, we all have our stories. So whenever uh, our customers come over, uh, we will introduce those background stories to them and they got really surprised and impressed. And uh, they, when they understand these stories, they will think, well, it is really meaningful and uh, it's nice to give as gifts. So you will see they will the, the understanding smile is really mm -hmm. um, something comforting and mm, it's uh, very rewarding. Yeah, yeah. true, <laughs> true, true, true. So I would say it's quite positive. Yeah, that's great. That's that's wonderful to hear. To see that also, let's say the old way of having physical people into physical store right. still pays off. That's and very also, comforting because it's about gifting. You will talk to them, and that's, and uh, sometimes they would they would love to show you the stories of the gifting mm -hmm. situation, and uh, all of a sudden you became friends. So mm -hmm. those those products is more like the little little warm uh, gift that build up in between you and the customer. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. So on the other side, um, in running a small business, since we know Shanghai and China today is attracting a lot of startups and a lot of people with, with great ideas, but we all know that running a startup, it's not going to a playground and it's yes. not uh, cooking something. 
So from your perspective and your experience, since you've been running for one and a half year, what are the biggest challenges that, that you face, let's say, on a daily basis, on a day-to-day -day operation? What are the biggest challenges you face? I mean, for me, because um, um, I'm always thinking, uh, the first year, uh, mm -hmm. I'm always thinking survival is very important for this little company. And also people, what kind of people you're working with is very important. Mm -hmm. um, especially we, we are trying to uh, build up our own team, you know, the first mm -hmm. year. And we might, actually I think we are very lucky people, yeah. very lucky <laughs> startup people. Yeah. <laughs> we might a lot of good. Uh, you know, co-workers who's mm -hmm. willing to help us and with, you know, great ideas. Yeah, I feel, you know, very blessed. <laughs> In your point of view, Amber? Yeah. Um, I think Teresa and I, we are very good combination as uh, business partners because okay. Teresa's daily basis difficulties is more down to earth. That's something I'm lacking of. I, well, I don't have this mindset. So, um, Always dreaming a little yeah, bit. <laughs> <laughs> My worries is more more conceptual. Um, I will think, how do we deliver our ideas? How do mm -hmm. we how do we build up our own content about gifting and uh, and trying to split those ideas into different categories? Um, that's my worries because I, we got so many ideas, but we don't have time to play the, in the paper to to deliver to people. That's my my difficulty. Yeah. Mm. It's funny when I wake up, all I was thinking was, okay, who I got to pay today? <laughs> who I got to pay today? What do I have to? Do? Which emails do I have to? And say? then when I arrive home. <laughs> I will think, okay, who I can collect money from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very down to earth thoughts, yeah. <laughs> reality. But in the end, um, that's also what entrepreneurship is all about. It's nice to have dreams and thoughts, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, yeah. you need that concreteness to right. to make things happen. Definitely. That's, that is true. That is true. And you mentioned one important thing, and since you said that you were colleagues before, and best friends after that and yes. so you decided to come up with this idea it's also kind of a stereotype but yeah. I just want to follow up and saying <laughs> many people say you should never work, work with your with friends your friend. well. exactly many people say that so well let's hear it from two friends we actually started a business together we fight all How? the time all right. the ugly part <laughs> come it's up not very, <laughs> it's not very encouraging thank you very much <laughs> Good fight. Yeah. It's not fight. It's an um, argument. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, you yeah, have true. different ideas or opinions. Yeah, disagreement on one thing. Mm -hmm. But you know, we, we we sit down. We talk about it. Sometimes we use aggressive words. <laughs> <laughs> not that aggressive, but. Uh, <laughs> in a pro uh, proper way. No, yeah. but we have very good method when, when one of us is, is about to explode. Yes. Okay. And the other one will just give you the space yeah. that you can come down. Step yes. outside a yes. little. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Very shake hands, away. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you come down, you can come back and have the... the, the we talk the again in a yeah, logical it's, way. It's always good when we talk, we found it it was like relationship, you know. True. Mm -hmm. After you fight married. and you know your business, you finally know what you really see from the business and yeah. what your partner see from the business, yeah. and you make it grow together. Mm -hmm. And you talk about it. I think it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, we all well, we always have fights with disagreements with your family. It's it's very similar. I always tell Teresa that whenever we have those disagreements, when we feel bad. But I have the confidence that in the end we love each other, we love the idea, we love the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we will the, make it right. The, in the end, the, the key point, even if you want to start to work with your friend, is to always have respect between one another. And from what I hear, communication is the key. Yeah. Just find the right way to communicate and deal with problems and issues, always respectfully towards one another, and then things should hopefully go smooth yeah. yes correct yeah. yes that's beautiful that's that's encouraging to hear in the end which means there is hope for friends who start a business yes. together yes. that's very good to hear that that is very very encouraging so also uh, to follow up as also Teresa said before let's get back to us the GBC yes. and as we know that you participated in our first GBC prize for a woman entrepreneurship yes and can we have a short feedback on that 
how was the experience how did you enjoy the process and the whole let's say build up to the competition the competition itself and afterwards we met a lot of uh, women entrepreneurs in GBC and the business are very interesting. We talked, we had drinks and we, we know, you know, uh, not only us trying to put this small business growing and there's a lot of girls out there trying to, you know, uh, to start their own business. It's good to know you don't feel lonely, alone, you know. Mm -hmm. It's already very hard, but uh, with friends, with all this, um, Girls, they are smart, they are beautiful, and you just feel, you know, there's important. people better than you, and they are still <laughs> trying really hard. You have mm -hmm. to get up. Right, right. Um, for me, it's more like a learning process. Uh, we were, we were in the early age of we gifted by that time. Yes. Now still am, but um, but it's very good for us to learn from other team mm -hmm. um, and uh, trying. Well, trying to build up the relationship with them and friendship too. Um, it's, it's a very good platform, I think, for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was, it was, did you follow up with any of these companies afterwards? Did you keep in touch with any of the other participants, became friends or something? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Did. yes, yes. That's very good That's to very hear. Good. Thank you very much. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And then, um, of course, since this is one thing, but on the other hand, what do you think it's still lacking in, let's say, the Shanghai entrepreneurs community today that could be helpful, maybe for you two or generally for everyone that is in the early stage of starting a company or have a company, but it's there trying to grow. What do you think could be done more to, to help these people and to, to get these people grow more? I think we might be needed like a um, tutorial or something with someone more experienced to give us a lesson one or two you know sometime what, what kind of lesson what lessons like, about about what about how there's like successful people to tell us their business of course mm -hmm. by different business mode and maybe we can learn from you know some like Michelle last time we, we met her she is um, I'd, I'd love to you know listen to her to, to her opinion you know where you met some difficulties and I mean it's all very you know in in daily daily life it's all very mm -hmm. small difficulties but I understand for all the entrepreneur it's just a problem solver basically mm -hmm. so you have to be ready to uh, so sir solve all these problems encounter problems yeah. get the problem and know how to deal with it yeah how, how to solve it but I'd, lo I'd love to listen someone with the big picture, you know, to tell you how you business from this perspective, how your business gonna at one point it will stop, or how do you mm -hmm. uh, try to put your business in a big market, or how do you make it grow booming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. Also, I think we need a platform to connect us with the investors, the real investors, or mm -hmm. someone. Uh, with um, more experience, someone with more views, view side, and to so to, to actually bridge and to get to people who, in the end, they ultimately can invest into your company, not just yes. teach you how to solve problems or how to manage the company, but people that can also help you in actually investing yes. and helping, let's say, financially to to grow the company. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, interesting. Well. We'll do our best to do that. <laughs> and well, in the end, since we've seen this beautifully made pop-up store, Shanghai, Xin D, what can we expect in the future from you two? We have this one, let's take this one as the first step. What can we expect in the future? Are we gonna see any more of these in other places? You have something else planned? Give us a little secrets. Woohoo, that's <laughs> <laughs> Yes, of course, we are planning um, Ahead, yeah. Right. Uh, we're trying to do something Christmas. Uh, mm. Yeah. Well, with, uh, that's a big gift season. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we are selecting different designers, and we are still like soaking, soaking up. <laughs> 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 and then um, we we're, we're talking to some uh, realistic agent now to see if we could have opened a real store, but uh, mm. it takes a long time in Shanghai. Mm, so you've yeah. got. 
I, a lot I of energy. bureaucracy going on in uh, <laughs> real estate and renting spaces. Yeah, challenging, mm -hmm. challenging. Yeah, very but challenging. We definitely want to open pop-up store. Yeah, uh, in different formats. A fixed one. Yeah. Or pop-up store in different formats, but also to have a fixed, proper, big gifted store boutique. somewhere in yes. boutique in uh, yeah. in Shanghai. Yes. That would be lovely. Lovely. So for everyone watching us, if you don't know what to give people for Christmas, these are the girls to talk to, be gifted. They're gonna set you up, sort out all problems. Or don't forget easier, that. you can just visit www.welovebegifted.com. <laughs> Welovebegifted.com. That's a place to be. If you don't know what to give your girlfriend or boyfriend for Christmas, that's the website. <laughs> yes. So one last question. Well, I want to hear from both of you. Uh -huh. Your advice, personal advice, professional advice, whatever advice to everyone that is thinking right now, watching us, should I start my business or not? One advice or an encouragement from both of you. Hmm. Do you want to start? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, you've, you've got to have um, a lot of prepare. I mean, mindly or physically, both. Because it's and really, financially, yeah, yeah <laughs> financially. I mean, um, it's a hard thing, but uh, if you're really decided to do it, don't hesitate. Just go with it. Yeah. And remember, never settle, never give up. Amber. Hmm. My idea is, well, if you don't do it now, when will you do it? If you think you will never be fully prepared, well, actually, no one will be ever fully prepared. So just get the idea and do it. Find a good partner, do it. Just go for it. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> brief but very encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much, Amber, Teresa, for your time. Thanks for having us in your pop-up store here. And, well, we hope to see you do that booming step very soon. And we're very happy and proud to have you in our GBC community. And I guess we'll see each other soon then. Definitely. Thanks thank a lot for Tom. that. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All of you, thanks for watching us. Follow GBC, GBC Media. And let's see together what these two girls have for us in the future. Tom Homberger, GBC Media, Sintendi Style Shopping Mall. Boom! <laughs> <laughs>